After MCO, we had our online worship service. I mentioned that 2020 may be the worst year, but with God, it can become the best year. Now, after about two months later, we have learned many new and best lessons. These lessons can be expressed in three trends. First, transferring. During the pandemic, everyone has been transferring messages, forwarding, receiving many more messages than before. Sometimes we don't know if the information is accurate, but still we forward them. Is this because we have grown up in an environment of spoon feeding so that we cannot tell right from wrong? Even when we go to church, we also sit in the sanctuary receiving a spoon fed service. Now, during the pandemic, we have switched to online live streams. It is the same as usual, except that once the service is over, we are already at home. This is transferring an in-person worship service to a virtual worship service. But some live stream worship services have also added translating. Translating means that some churches have live interaction, questions and answers, discussions, sharing before and after live stream services. It is like in early May, during the three consecutive nights of Cebu North District Revival Rallies, we used Zoom and we were able to connect with 300 to 400 people after the rally for Q&A, sharing, interaction, etc. In response to the message, this is a bit of translating. The Lord Jesus and the early church had ministries of both transferring and translating messages to the people. For example, Jesus preaching to tens of thousands of people. Peter preaching to thousands and the translating interaction before and after. But the most important ministry is transforming. The Lord Jesus and the apostles understood the importance of transferring and translating. But the most important ministry is transforming. For example, Jesus took a few disciples with him to many towns and villages through discipleship training. They turned the world upside down. This time, during the pandemic, we learned transferring live stream worship services. We learned translating Zoom meetings and gatherings. But most important of all, we learned to use social media to enter homes, to lead parents and children together in family worship, to read the Bible, to share, to pray with them, and build up the family altar and do family discipleship so that there is hope for transformation in lives, in marriages, in families, and even the whole society. So dear pastors, brothers and sisters, we not only need to be careful when transferring information, we also need discernment when translating messages. Most importantly, we need to let God's message transform the lives of our brothers and sisters and friends to allow the Word of God to settle, be digested and lived out. To achieve transforming ministry, we need discipleship training like Jesus with his handful of disciples. And during pandemic, we make good use of today's social media. It is the best way to go. In fact, some cults have long been using social media tools to attract and train up their new followers. We have only now been forced to begin using social media. This is a lesson God is making us learn. So brothers and sisters, we do not wait until the pandemic is over to serve. Right now, in the midst of pandemic, let us learn the Word of God from each other using the three trends so that we may trust in Christ and become more and more like Jesus Christ. As the Word of God says, and we know that in all things, including pandemic, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. For those God foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son.